Hey guys, and welcome back to Crusader Kings 2. I am Sifa Cat, and today we're going to finish off this rebellion. This rebellion should not last too much longer. They're just trying to just... They're just trying to piss me off, really. Uh, and they're not going to succeed, because this war is pretty much already over for them. Because I have decided it to be so, and thus... It is so. It is really that simple when it comes to my kingdom. Uh, there's some guys trying to take off some land, but we're going to get there. They're not even trying to run this time, I don't think. Are they? And we're just pulling children into a dungeon. That's a sentence that sounds very bad if you put it that way. But it's alright. Pulling children into a dungeon is fine as long as they uh, don't struggle. You know, this isn't helping. Um, although, one thing I do need to do... Uh, you know what? No, I'm not letting you marry my daughter. That puts you too much power. I should get married. Who should I marry? Uh, there's a Duchess of Luxembourg. She is slow and has a stutter. I don't think either of those is genetic. Actually, I think slow is genetic. Okay, you are out of the picture. What about you? You are a Countess. No. Let's go by rank. Sorting by rank is probably a good start. Uh, there's a few Duchesses around. But, gosh, all of them except one have, like huge genetic defects. And that's just annoying as heck. Uh, well, as a 12-year-old, I mean, I could always try and marry a 12-year-old. Again, out of context, that sounds terrible. But let's go for that. Because this will potentially put me in a bit of power. But of course, we do have to wait a few years before, you know, she is aged enough to marry. But that's okay. Because we're going to get her to that age. Unfortunately, I cannot marry uh, the Queen of Poland, as, you know, she just keeps marrying other people before we can marry her. Which, to be honest, is pretty much how my life goes. No, it's not. That's not how my life goes at all. God, what a weird life that would be for me. I'm not saying a weird life for others, because, you know, that's... I can understand how people's lives would be like that. My life is so not that. So happy about my life is so not that. Okay, so what are we actually planning here? Well, first thing we need to do is we need to get rid of Alba, because these Scots are... Wait, who are we killing? We're apparently killing someone. Apparently we're killing the Princess of Poland. I'm not quite sure why. You know, she's just going to die for no reason. This is going to be a mistake. Oh well. <laughs> we have no reason to kill this small girl, but we're going to kill her anyway. Um... You know, it's like someone whispers in my ear, the plan has been set in motion, the small girl will be dead within the week. It's like, did we want to kill her? Y yes, it's my king. You did. Oh, well, uh, let, let's not do that, actually, now that we don't have to kill a small girl. Let's not. Just because you can kill a small girl doesn't mean you should kill a small girl. Uh, and that's pretty much the story of my life, I feel. Again, what a weird story that would be. What a story that would land me in jail very quickly, that would be, actually, as well. Alright, so, we need to get rid of Alba, because they're proving to be problems repeatedly. Also, what we need to do is, we need to... I kind of want to... Actually, can we? We can execute you. I'm not sure why we would, but we could. Uh... Other things we're going to do before this game ends, before we move into Europa, is we're going to make an attack on Genoa and Holy Roman Empire. I'm not quite sure how we're going to do that or what we're going to do for that, but this game is going to end with uh, probably three or four superpowers. Genoa's going to be one, Britannia's going to be one, Gotland may... Gotland looks like it's going to be a superpower, and Holy Roman Empire I think is fractured enough. Poland's going to come in as a superpower. If they ally with Hungary, which they do tend to do in Europa, you know, Poland, Hungary. No, it's Poland, Lithuania. Never mind. Uh, Byzantine is pretty fractured. Although Byzantine could be a problem. Uh, and I'm actually turning on the. I'm, I'm debating whether I should turn on the Sunset Invasion before swapping over the games. So whether, you know, um, the Aztecs and the Mayans will actually be a force. I think I kind of want to, but at the same time. Now I'm going to be having colonization into Africa, because I've got this part here. 
And no one, none of the other Western powers is really going to be able to colonize Africa faster than I. But that's still 40 years away, so we don't even need to worry about that just yet. I'm getting ahead of myself. What we do need to do is just conquer whatever we can. In fact, if we can get this area of Genoa, maybe the Spanish part of Genoa, I'd be a lot happier. Maybe that's where I should be focusing my efforts. Spanish Genoa. Um, Genoa is very strong, and I'm not quite sure what's going to happen with them, but... The good news is, most of my holdings are in England, because, you know, Britannia. Um, and that England is usually pretty hard to attack. I'm really, because it's so close to uh, Europa days, I've really got to start thinking about what I'm going to do when I get there. I didn't quite get to uh, Antwerp, but maybe we could do that with the Holy Roman Empire War. We've got this area over here for some reason. We've got Ulm. Yeah, I like Ulm. It's got a fun name. It's fun to say. Uh, yeah, this is going to be a really messy map when we're done with it. Uh, and you want to kill someone? Who do you want to kill? I'm always interested to see who people want to kill. That's pretty much the highlight of my days. Okay, auto saves now. However, you want to... Ki no, that's... You want to kill the Earl of Essex. Why? Why do you want to kill the Earl of Essex? You know, he's a de Normandy. I ex are you Irish? Or you're Welsh. Uh, you know, I don't honestly give a shit. So they can do whatever they want. Look. The Welsh, the Irish, uh, the Welsh and the English, as long as they're fighting each other and not me, I don't particularly care. And how is my betrothed? She is 13. Oh, uh, age still too young to marry. But soon she'll be old enough to marry. Oh, yes. Okay. Creepy. Creepy, creepy, creepy. Let's stop being so creepy and let's move into the territory I want instead of right-clicking because of creepiness. Uh, who was... It's... I think you're from Leon, aren't you? Oh, you just took over some land, did you? Uh, yeah, it's the Duchy of Leon that's proving to be the problem. Which... Well, they're not really being a problem, they're just the leaders of the war. I mean, no one's really a problem in this war. It's all a very simple war for me. Alba is probably the biggest threat to me, but at the same time... Uh, Alba's had the most contribution to the war with a 50%, and then no one else has really come even close. So, 50% is pretty high, I suppose. Um, I mean, look, they've got 3,000 men right there, so they're just standing around, just... Hello, Britannia. Uh, do you remember when we used to be part of you? Yes, I do. Uh, oh, you don't want to be there. Well, how about the Blat? Fool. Never complain. You'd think by now they would have learned to never complain, but they do not learn. They just keep complaining, they keep ending up in the oblet. I uh, really wish we had a leader on that side, but it doesn't matter because it's 5,000 men to four, oh, 900. So, that fight is one Good. And we capture someone from the Isles. Nice! Ah, uh, let's go over there. There's some Leon forces. Don't like those Leonites just Leoniting about the place. <laughs> uh, one day I'm going to not laugh at my own jokes. And that'll be a sad day because no one will be laughing that day. That's actually kind of depressing when I think about it like that. I love my jokes. They're retarded. That's about all they've got going for them. They're dumb. <laughs> I like my dumb jokes. They are dumb. Yes. Yes, they are. Uh, okay, here we go. We can enforce demands. Let's make it happen. Alright. Enforce demands. No, someone changed their minds, did they? Alright then. Well, if you say so. I'm not sure what would cause you to change your mind, except an act of lunacy. Of the moon. Lunacy of the moon. Do you have some lunacy of the moon over there? You do? Mm. Lunacy just sounds like the lunar sea. Um, I mean, yes. Well done. I figured it had a rhyme. Uh, I like your shield. Cornwall. Cornwall does have a cool shield. They've got a shield inside a shield. That's an amazing shield. Uh, we can probably speed up a bit. 
Actually, can we just end this war now? No, you just don't want to end it, okay. Maybe you will now. Come on, no. They, they just gain guts out of nowhere. Which, if a doctor ever does that, be concerned. <laughs> because you want to know where he got those guts from. Uh, but he's not a doctor, he's a Scottish king. No, actually it's Leon that's proving to be the problem. Leon is the reason why we're not winning this. Um, yeah, all my occupation points are worth nothing. Wait, it's because they've got area that means I'm not winning or something? Is that what I just saw? Do I need to get Moray back? I think I need to get Moray back. Like, the amount of territory I've captured doesn't actually worry them. Let's click on that button when it works. Thank you. Uh, here we go. So yeah, the three territories I've lost, or uh, four territories I've lost, are pretty much equal to everything they have lost. So we should probably get back my territories. Uh, there's one there that's taken... Is that... Oh no, have you guys taken that? I don't know. Oh, that looks like something I've taken. Are you our enemies? I don't know who our enemies are. We're just going to charge you. <laughs> For king and country! For king and empire. No, empire and... Emperor and... Empire. I don't know. I just don't know what I'm saying anymore. I've lost my spy master, though. That's pretty tragic. Let's get a new spy master. A good one. Duke of Wessex. I know we used to have problems with Wessex, but... They've been pretty on the level lately. And I like it when my lords are on the level. Level lords, as we always used to call them. Alright, so we've got Moray back and we're at 94%. Soon they will not have a choice but to surrender. Well, the Irish are here. Somehow. Not sure where quite the Irish came from, but... You know, no one's ever quite sure where the Irish are coming from. It's the very basis of the Irish. Where are these Irish coming from? We don't know! Okay. No, seriously, what? Oh, there we go, 100%. Oh, you made it difficult for me though, didn't you? Okay. The Leonian League Independence War has ended. So, who is in my jail? Intrigue, we've got 13 prisoners. First off, King of Alba. Guess what? You are losing your throne. We could banish you. Oh no, that's, they probably won't like that. Okay, let's not banish you. Uh, but we're going to revoke your title, the King of Alba. And then we're going to go to the Kingdom of Alba. And we're going to remove this. We're going to make this title no longer exist. Uh, I can't destroy it because I'm gavel kind. <laughs> okay. Uh, so we can't. So it's just going to have to stay like that. Alright then, what else can we do? Uh, my kinswoman. I'm going to revoke your title. I'm just going to revoke some land. Um, who else? You have already had land taken off you. Oh, you're a queen? You know what? Your kingdom was going to be mine soon anyway. The crown authority does not allow revocation. <laughs> okay, fine. You can keep your title. Can we kill you, actually? My lords won't like it, but I think I'm next in line to this kingdom. I am. You know what? If they don't like it, they can shove off. Because I'm going to execute you. Or I could excommunicate you. No, I couldn't. You know what? I'm just going to execute you. Yeah, you know what? There's nothing wrong with executing someone. Cool. And now I've gained more titles. Hooray for me! <laughs> that was a little vicious. <laughs> Just a tad. Um, that was actually hella vicious. <laughs> Probably didn't need to do that, but... You know, it's like they say, you can't kill a queen without cutting off her head. Okay. Um, intrigue. Prisoners. Oh, the Duke of Leon. Look at you. With your 
duchy in your county. I'm just going to remove a county from him. And the Duchess of Anjo. Well, I'm just going to remove your Duchess. Duchy. And I think that's all we can remove for now. Okay, it is. Uh, now, what we need to do is find a lord who would probably like to be... What would you like to be? Would you like to be du Duke of Brittany? Who's going to make Duke of Brittany? Someone around here. Come on, who's a good Duke? I am. No, I can't make myself a Duke. It's silly. It's amazing, but silly. Uh, anyone in my court who is male and my blood? No. Come on, I've got to have people of my blood. You know, I'm just going to hold on to these titles. Because I'm greedy that way. Okay, so let's now disband these armies. Because we don't need them. Is that the retinue? I think that's the retinue. That is the retinue, great. Is that the retinue as well? That is also the retinue. Okay, and... So what we're doing now is we're just going to... Gain our armies back to strength. While we're doing that we can probably hire more retinues. We can quite a bit, actually. And... Yeah, that's... A lot of money I've just spent on increasing my retinue size, but you know what? It's like they say, you never should complain about making yourself stronger. Well, I could fight the Holy Roman Empire, but honestly, they're already kind of having problems. I could attack Brunswick. Could I attack Brunswick? Uh, apparently I've still got army levies. Oh jeez, yeah, okay, I do. Uh, you can just walk home, I don't really care about you guys. I just lost like a huge number of men because of my laziness there, but... Um, now Brunswick, we're back here again. What's going on in Brunswick? I still have army levies, really? I thought I got rid of all those. No, it's just people over here. Where did you even come from? I just own that land, apparently. Okay, so I believe that's the Canary Islands, which is good to own that. Because the Canaries are a really good stepping stone for colonizing the New World. Although we won't be colonizing it because it'll be Aztec. Uh, there is the worst anti-pope ever. I think he's an anti-pope, but he's just... I don't know what he's doing. He's not even Catholic. What a racist. That's not what racism is. I've forgotten what racism is again. Um. So anyway, what was I doing? I was... Looking to declare war on Brunswick. Is there anyone with a claim for it? You have a claim for it. How strong is your claim? It is strong. Invite to court. Let's go fight Brunswick. We're just going to go rampage over Brunswick. Hope they don't mind. I'm sure they won't. I mean, they're pretty polite. Those Brunswickians. Brunswicken. Brunswicken! That's what they're called. And then, once we got Brunswick, then we... I mean, the Holy Roman Empire War, that's going to take some time. Declare War on Brunswick. See, this is a good patch of land if we get this. Okie dokie. So, men of honour and valour, raise the yon forces. For thine forces are required for military things. That's true. For a second there I thought I'd lost it, but that is true. They are required for military things. Uh, that's enough boats. Oh, we're doing the boats thing again, aren't we? Gosh darn, I hate the boats thing. The boats thing is where we just say more boats, more boats, more boats. And I fall for this trap every time because I always want more boats. Uh, and French forces. Why, a thousand men. That's almost enough to beat these Brunswick Knights. Brunswick Knights, yes. That's a good name for them. It only sounds mildly retarded. Um, we're going to lose a lot of titles when... My... This princess is going to get a lot of titles. I'm not... So happy about that. I can't necessarily have it executed either. 
could I marry her to Okay, I have control of her. Who is your heir? Probably King Art. Your heir is him. Okay, so I want to arrange betrothal between you and you. That's a good idea. I mean, it's a little bit incestory, but you know what? A little bit of incest never hurt anyone. Unless knives are involved. I guess incest with knives would probably hurt people. I've never really thought about it. <laughs> yes, because who has thought about incest with knives? This is a common thought for most people, I suppose. <laughs> oh, you know, you know, sister of mine, well, cousin of mine, whatever, what would improve this incest? What? Cousin of mine? Knives. Might hurt someone, though. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where this topic's going. I really don't. So this is not attacking the Holy Roman Empire like I said I would. This is just me being greedy. Um, because I saw Brunswick was weakened. And I figured, hey, if Brunswick is weakened, why don't I take, take Brunswick? Because I think it's legally mine, right? That's how legalism works. If I want it, I should have it. I think it's how it works. It's how it works over here. It, that's the uh, Britannian way. Okay, and we've got 10,000 men just chilling out over there. Where is the... Oh, it's there. Okay, I was looking for the Norwegian part of it. But we found it now. Oh. They can go over there, and they can enter Brunswick from that side. And these guys are sieging. Nice. Good work. Good siege. Good siege. But we still need to win this fight relati well, relatively fast, otherwise... We could lose out to um, some guys coming in out of nowhere. No, we could lose out to the Holy Roman Empire managing to end this war, and that's not what I want. The last thing I want is this war to end by, like, someone piecing out. What does worry me, actually, is... Okay. I should probably check the realm strength because really Algiers the strongest. How are you so strong? What have you got? Oh, yeah, that'll do it. You own literally all of Algiers. Half brother of mine. How are we related? Ah, my mother. Oh yeah, that's right. I was trying some weird shit down there. Okay, it's fine. Um, although, Algier does somewhat like me, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to send my diplomat to Algier. That should help a bit. Actually, what can I do to change the laws of this to something else? I need to reign for 10 years. And, oh gosh, yeah, that's going to be an impossible one to reach. Okay, well, I had hopes that I could stop that, or make something happen with that, but that's clearly not happening today. Um, yeah, sure, I don't need all those boats. They'll come back. Boats always do. It's tradition. It's, tra it's English tradition that boats just come back after a while. They just get bored and just like, hey, we're back. It's like, oh, hi, boats. How you going? Oh, yeah, pretty good. Cool. Um... Boats shouldn't talk. I think boats are rather boring to talk. I'm not saying it's boring to talk about boats, I'm just saying boats, as conversationalists, are very bad. And I, th I blame the government, obviously. Because who else would you blame in this time of trials? Uh, Algier. For Algier being the strongest, I, they're not here. It really looks like Ireland is the strongest, so I don't know what that realm tree was all on about. Ireland is close to the strongest? No. I don't know. I don't know why it says Algier is stronger when it looked like Ireland was, but... Oh well. 
That's quite alright. Okay, so we're winning this rather handily, but we need to win it faster. So we're actually going to assault them, which is going to deplete my forces, but I think I can take it. I think I can take a bit of force depletion. Because the sooner we get this uh, won, the sooner we can win. Are you married, by the way? You are. Okay. Your son, however, is not. I think we just took uh, the leader's wife. Hopefully. No, we didn't. We took someone's wife. We didn't take yours. Okay, no, some wife has... Well, actually, we don't even know if we took someone's wife. We just took some woman. Women are being taken prisoner. Uh, and the exiles are roaming? Where are they roaming to? I'm not even sure where they are to start off with. Oh, that's probably them. Yep. wonder where they're off to. That's exciting. Go, Earl Guy. Earl Guy, really? Your name is Guy. Guy of Earl Guy. <laughs> and what are you fighting, Earl Guy? Are you fighting Genoa? You are. Well, that's not going to work out well for you, Earl Guy. Is he even an Earl? Or has he just called himself Earl Guy? Guy of Earl Guy's host? He is... No, he's not an Earl at all. I don't really know what he's doing, <laughs> calling himself an Earl like that. Anyway, guys, <laughs> thank you for watching. Join me next episode where we finish beating up Brunswick and then... Genoa? Oh, look, Genoa's just raised its forces. That'd be the best time for it. See you next time. Bye! Meow.